Hi there. Uh, welcome to the bullpen, or uh, I guess I should say Bob's bullpen. Uh, my name is Bob Lefever. I am the owner of the bullpen and now the uh, bulldog restaurant that's next to it. This is the outside eating area, the patio, and our big giant uh, warmers, thermal warmers. Uh, we opened about five years ago. Before that, I was a comic book artist on Transformers and Ninja Turtles, Image Comics. I designed toys for uh, Transformers and Ninja Turtles and stuff like that. Um, let's go in here. So we're not open yet. I'm trying to do this a little bit beforehand. We have the TV station coming to do a story on our uh, movie theater that we just built in here. So. So this is the front desk where we sell magic and card-related stuff. I always have the, uh, some feature books of the week right up here by the cash register. Uh, we put together packages of books here, um, like grab bag type of stuff. And they have, they're really cool. They have like comics and posters and all kinds of stuff in them. So uh, Shirts for the store itself. One thing, uh, since I'm pointing up here, uh, really cool about our space here is that it's from a historic building that's been here for over 150 years. So we have all this really cool old tile on the ceiling um, that's original. So uh, the space itself looks really neat. Our sign here for uh, the, our pull membership to to get people uh, on to signed up for books and that sort of thing. This is where we keep all of our pulls. It's looking pretty empty because our shipment's coming in today. Pop figures, uh, some of the higher priced books. Part of our pull membership here we have um, every week we give away over $40 of merchandise. Um, it's a, a raft ticket sort of system. So this week it's a little more than $40. Uh, we combined a few different weeks and we're doing the whole Flash series here. So. Uh, we keep a lot of our Star Wars stuff in this area. Lightsabers and helmets and pop figures. The graphic novels. Toys. Our supplies are right in here for comics. Um, all these structures uh, were actually converted, uh, these ones in here anyways, from old Royal Knight, or uh, not Royal Knight, um, Radio Shack. Uh, stands when they went out of business in the area here so some of our box displays here and pops uh we keep horror books a lot of our walking dead stuff here uh more of those grab boxes these are the red boxes which means that they're teen and up uh nothing bad actually you know other than uh, a little more adult material i guess Uh, since I used to, like I said, draw for Transformers and Ninja Turtles, I had to have my own little uh, TR and TMNT section here. So a lot of these things. These boxes do really great around here. Um, I can hardly keep them in stock. I just uh, restocked these ones here after Free Comic Book Day. But those will be gone shortly. Keep our Legends items over in this case. Uh, I just sold my last shield last night, so I need to fill up that space there. Now, my mom makes these light bottles, so uh, they're stickers with a little short strand of Christmas tree lights in them. Over here are our new release comic books. Uh, these are usually a couple months old in here before they make it over to the other bins. Some of our uh, really huge posters that we sell. This is our independent racks, mostly image stuff, Dark Horse, that sort of thing, Rick and Morty. Uh, our sale rack here, everything's usually marked down, you know, at least 50% on this rack. And same goes for the other side of it here. More pops. Uh, now, with the graphic novel section here, um, it's alphabetical order and it's by company. So, 
Uh, these two rows right here, for instance, on the top shelf, you'll see all DC books. And as you work your way down, it's alphabetical A, B, C, D, and so on. These are all the ongoing graphic novels. And here's the Marvel ones, same idea. All the ongoing titles. These are our back issues, all labeled in alphabetical order. We have storage bins underneath here that we built. Shelves for various items. Our TV. Now this section here is the DC section of the uh, big event books. Um, so you'll see some of the larger titles uh, like Dark Knight, um, Infinite Crisis series books, B for Vendetta, Metal, uh, things that aren't like necessarily ongoing titles, um, but are big sellers and ones that we constantly keep in stock. And then with our DC section here, we also have a stand-up glass case here of some of the, uh, the higher-end statues and toys and that sort of thing. Uh, the artist and me, I had to have an art section here. Now we're getting into the Marvel area on the other end of the store. Uh, you'll notice it's identical to the DC area and how it's set up. So this area you'll see also has the, the bigger event books, Infinity Gauntlet and, um, you know, the Wolverine stuff. And the toys. And the big stand-up case just like the DC side. So we're back over by the front of the store here where the Star Wars uh, case is, but I didn't show off the poster thing before, so... And throughout the store, you'll see, like, artwork of mine. Um, this is from a series that I had done uh, called Aletheia through Image Comics. And speaking of artwork, I'm going to go back over here real quick. This is a big banner I did with both Ninja Turtles and Transformers together. So, our new section here, we got about a year ago at this time. It was all office space beforehand. Uh, we converted it into a restaurant cafe area. Um, we specialize in hot dogs, but we have nachos and pizza, and we're always doing specials on all kinds of different stuff here. There are some of our signature hot dogs. Wendy's back there working on a to-go order, I see. <laughs> Wendy's the manager here and uh, is invaluable to this place. She's amazing. So our, I did the color scheme just the opposite in this area. It is, rather than purple with highlights of yellow, it's yellow with uh, highlights of purple. So, and it's all themed out uh, with bulldog and bulldogs and bulls and bulldog related artwork here. So to kind of play off the theme of the hot dog place. So I wanted to have like a hint of pop culture sort of feel to it. Um, while not really getting too much into comic book stuff to try and get people into the comic store that wouldn't normally come into a comic store and they can discover stuff for the first time. So, as we head back this way, we got our video game system here and the bathroom's back there. And this is the newest part that opens in June. So this is the hallway to the theater. Uh... This was um, just a gray room and led to a bunch of cubicles and stuff. But we got these uh, theater seats in here. Um, we have video game competitions where part of it takes place on these screens here. But um, it's lined with uh, posters. We're going to have some dimming light put up before the theater opens. But as we make our way back here down the hallway we come to the theater itself where I have a movie playing just to give you an idea of the size of this. A theater in town closed down recently and so I'll turn on the torch and so I was able to acquire all the seating. I stripped it all down and repainted it and remounted it onto uh, different leveled platforms here that uh, simulate a stadium seating. 
Now you notice these pieces of fabric on the backs of it. Um, we're reupholstering everything, so we just have fabric kind of laying on it right now. We got another month to finish that part of it. But uh, yeah, so each this room can be used for multi purposes. Um, all these seats, four and a piece, um, separate from the ones around it, and we can place it on wheels and roll it out of the room. And we can use this room for all kinds of things, from birthday parties to. Um, gaming events uh to charity you know events whatever you know you want a big giant room for you can use this so we got the the lighting that goes around the walkway in the back here the projector room is back there or the control room i should say where all the audio and stuff and videos are hooked up so we got spider-man playing back there I'll go around the theater. Big speakers. And I'm really excited to get this part going because um, after the theater opens here in June, uh, we'll then have, you know, the comic shop, the restaurant, and a theater in which we'll be able to do uh, dinner and movie events, um, which is going to be a really cool aspect. Uh, something I didn't envision five years ago when I opened up the comic shop, but I've been very fortunate with the success of everything that we've been able to keep on expanding. Uh, we had some nice customers that nominated us, didn't ask them to nominate us. Um, so I, I hope you like what you see. We're really, really proud of it. There's a lot of people that put a, hard, a lot of hard work into making this place as amazing as it is. And uh, yeah, we'll send some pictures along too. So. I can hear some customers out here. I'm going to sign off, and thank you so much for this opportunity. I appreciate it.